Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be solving the leak code question, unique Morse code words. So in this question, uh, we have the international Morse code, which it defines a standard encoding where each letter is mapped to a series of dots and dashes. For example, A maps to dot dash, B maps to dash dot dot dot, and C maps to this, okay, and so on and so forth. So this over here has all the 26 letters of the English alphabet mapped out for us. So um, whatever is at the zeroth index refers to A. So that refers to A. This refers to B. Uh, this refers to C and so on and so forth. Okay. Now, given a list of words, each word can be written as a concatenation of the Morse code of each letter. For example, CAB can be written as this, which is the uh, concatenation of this. So this over here represents a C. This represents A and this represents B. Okay, so basically all that's happening is we're taking each of the letters and we're adding them up into one string. Okay, so uh, we okay. So in this term, they called it a transformation of the word. So what we want to do is we want to return the number of different transformations among all words we have. So for example, over here, if you look at this, the word Jin and Zen have the same transformation, right? So in that case, they'll only be counted as one transformation. And these two also have the same transformation. So in that case, that is going to be considered as one transformation. So in total, we have two different transformations, okay? So in this case, we're going to end up outputting the number two. All right, so I don't think the question is too hard. So now let's see how we can solve this question. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do over here, we already have this given to us. So I'm just going to kind of copy paste it, okay? So let's just call this Morse code. And this is all the encodings, okay? So whatever is at the zeroth index refers to A and so on and so forth. But how exactly do we know uh, what it refers to? So what we could do is we could construct a dictionary using this, but instead a pretty simple thing we could do is we could convert each of our letters over here uh, and we can convert the letters. And what I mean by that is that each letter in the English alphabet does have an integer ASCII value, which uh, is used to represent the letter. OK, so just to kind of see what it is. So I'll just print out the ASCII value of A and the ASCII value of uh, Z. OK, so that gives us the range. OK, so I think uh, A over here is going to be 97 and Z is 97 plus how many other characters there are. OK, so yeah, so we have 97 for representing A and we have 122 representing C. So if you tried out B, B would be nothing else but 98, C would be 99, so on and so forth, right? We're just adding one for going on to the next letter, okay? So kind of using this fact, we can use that to our advantage. So we know for a fact that A over here represents 97. So what we could do is we could find the ASCII value of whatever character it is and subtract it by 97. And that is going to give us the index we need to look at. For example, for A, we have a value of 97. 97 minus 97 is going to be equal to 0. And in that case, we're going to go to the 0 index, OK? So that's how we're going to do this. And uh, yeah, let's just do that. So over here, we have words, which is a list of words, OK? So now we want to get each of the word in words, OK? So for word, in words. So now we have each of the words. And uh, we have this transformation, as what they called it. And it's stored inside of a string value, right? So we'll just call the string value over here uh, Morse, okay? So this is going to uh, hold the encoding for the specific word. And it's going to start off as an empty string. Okay, and after this, we want to get each of the characters inside the word. So for care in word. So from each word, we're getting the character. Perfect. So now we have this. And now what we're going to do is for each of the characters, we want to convert the character and get its ASCII value. Sorry. And after that, we want to subtract it with the ASCII value of A, which we could just hard code in the value, which is 97. So this is going to give us the index that we need to go to. And we're going to go to this index. So Morris underscore code. And now we go to this index and we're going to find whatever we're looking for. So this gives us the encoding and we're going to add this encoding to the variable Morris. So Morris plus equals and add this. By the end of this, we're going to have the total transformation for that word. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add this transformation to another list. And let's just call this re, uh, list results or res. So uh, to this list, we're going to add this value. So res.append, and we're going to be appending more. But one thing we want to do is we only want the unique value. So to kind of make sure that we only get unique values, what we're going to do is we're going to check whether it already exists or not. So if more in res, 
And in that case, we're not going to do anything. So actually what we would do is we would do if more is not in res, that means we do not have it in results. And in that case, we're going to, do, we're going to add more into our results list. So uh, by the ending of this, uh, our results list is going to have all the unique transformations. And all we need to do, we want to return the length of whatever res is. So submit this, our submission should get accepted. So finally, thanks a lot for watching guys. Do let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.